1992, we saw an extraordinary finish. Christy O'Connor, who'd single-putted the last five greens, was in the forest at the 16th. 190 yards to go, a shot that looked certain to be just hacked out to the fairway. But this was not the case for Christy, who played a sliced two-iron shot, just avoided the bunker and placed it nicely on the green, a golden opportunity for a birdie. Ahead, O'Connor had got his three at the 16th, now at the 17th, trapped yet again behind another tree. A shot seemingly impossible, the pin protected by a large bunker on the right. Oh, and off the cush. Well, that was... A lot of things are going his way, and he's on his knees. Oh, 18th green, and uh, this is longer than eight yards. This is probably 12. What a putt this would be to hold. The three birdie finish of O'Connor got him into the playoff. The first hole selected for that was the 16th. He'd come out of the trees, this time hit from the heart of the fairway. Let Clive Clark describe what happened. And probably no more than nine iron. Well, a good controlled swing. That's pretty much at it. And they don't come better than that. Four consecutive birdies gave O'Connor the title. The O'Connor in match seven, one down to Fred Couples, his second shot at 16. These are the matches that Harry said had. Oh, a terrific shot. This to spare his match. It's a very tricky green. To the 18th hole, where Christy O'Connor was about to play one of Ryder Cup's most memorable shots. He's, a good green. He's got the right club. <laughs> Fred Couples, he has to hold this. And even if he does, O'Connor will have a putt for the match. And he can hardly stand still. He would be delighted if this didn't go in. He's missed it. That's it. That's it. Another, well, you've got to call it an American collapse, and that's a win for Christy O'Connor. A wonderful result. <laughs> 